What would a two-dimensional world be like? The easiest way I know to imagine a two-dimensional world is to build a two-dimensional space and consider what that is like. Start with two books. Place one on top of the other. There is nothing between the books. They are in contact with each other but not joined. The nothing between the two books is a two-dimensional space. It has length and width, but no depth. It make more sense to me to imagine a universe than a world. So imagine that space between the books is a universe with two-dimensional galaxies, stars, and planets. It could even have two-dimensional beings. All of this made apparently of nothing. Imagine a round planet orbiting a round sun. Beings on the planet could travel forwards or backwards around the planet. They could jump up or down on the surface of the planet. Beings on the planet could not go around one another. Instead, they would have to hop over each other and over other things. They could never turn around and face the other way, except by turning upside down. This strikes me as impractical, so I expect that they would evolve to have eyes, if they have eyes, front and back, and that they could walk forwards or backwards with equal ease. There could be things that roll, but there could be no wheels, because there could be no axles. There would be no holes that go through anything, because that would cause the thing to be cut in half. There would only be holes or pits that go part way into something. Things could rotate in the plane of the universe, but nothing could twist. Chemistry would be very different. All atoms would have to connect in the plane of the universe to form molecules. This means no DNA, because a double helix would be impossible. This might mean only asexual reproduction is possible. This is by no means an exhaustive list. A universe is too a large thing to try and describe in its entirety. Hmm, well you want 2D things in this world, with perhaps three spatial dimensions. Well right now, while writing this answer, I can see a seemingly 2D thing in the wall of my room. Guess what? My shadow. But if you think of a shadow as the lack of light created by an object blocking a light source, then shadows are 3D. After all, it's dark everywhere behind an object, not just on the surface of another object. Is a shadow the dark volume behind stuff, or the dark surface on other things? If, on the other hand, you define a shadow to be what we see and intuitively think of, the dark parroting person on the wall with whom you can shadow box, and not the volume in between, then shadows are 2D. However, that second definition is a little abstract, because there's no real physical significance. You could say that the border between countries is a one-dimensional line along the ground, but there are no physical laws that have anything to do with national borders, so it doesn't matter. Defining exactly where the surface of an object is, what with all of their atoms, is like trying to define exactly where the surface of a ball pit is. It's impossible to get something that's genuinely 2D in our universe for several reasons. The simplest of which is that atoms themselves are 3D. So even the flattest flat thing will still have some 3D-ness, at least a quarter of a nanometer or more. That said, there are innumerable examples of things that behave as though they were 2D. In situations where one direction is restricted compared to the others, you'll often find that the physics follows suit. Hurricanes and other very large-scale weather phenomena roughly obey two-dimensional physics. For example, ripples on the surface of water are an example of 2D waves that behave very differently from ordinary 3D waves. Weather systems that are substantially bigger across than they are tall, like hurricanes, e.g. Sandy was about 800 miles across and only about 5 to 10 miles high, roughly obey 2D fluid dynamics. Normally the energy in a fluid, or gas, starts out with big eddies and moves into smaller and smaller eddies. You can see this if you pour cream into some coffee and then stare at it. However, very weirdly, in a 2D fluid, you find that the opposite tends to be true. Energy starts out in small eddies and moves to larger. If it weren't for the flatness of the atmosphere and some obscure math involving entropy flow in 2D fluids, we wouldn't get hurricanes.
two-dimensional world is a thought experiment that stretches our 3D minds. Imagine a thin sheet of paper or a flat computer screen image. That's the basic idea. No matter where you move on this surface, you can only go up, down, and left, right. There's no in or out. Objects would only have length and width, no thickness. Imagine people like flat silhouettes, houses like cutouts, and trees like outlines. Perspective and depth perception wouldn't exist. Things wouldn't appear closer or farther away, just arranged side by side. Life and physics. Imagine inside organs like stomachs would be difficult to have flat. Maybe creatures would absorb nutrients directly through their skin. Gravity might work differently, pulling everything flat against the ground. Movement could be like gliding or sliding. Light and sound would still travel, but shadows would be flat and stretched out. Imagine new forms of life adapted to a flat world, like ribbon creatures or gliding plants. Remember, we experience the world in 3D, so truly understanding a 2D world is impossible. It's a fun thought experiment, but there might be aspects we can't even conceive. Inchinal form, or 2D shape, refers to a flat shape having just two dimensions, its length and width, and no thickness or depth. A sheet of paper is a two-dimensional object as an illustration. It has a length and a breadth, but neither a depth nor a height. Squares, rectangles, triangles, circles and hexagons are a few examples of typical 2D forms. A 3D, three-dimensional form, in contrast, has three dimensions, length, breadth and height. A dice, for instance, has three dimensions since it has three different dimensions length, breadth, and height. Cuboids, conies, pyramids, and cylinders are a few examples of typical 3D forms. Based on the length and internal angles, a 2D form can be categorized as regular or irregular. If all of a two-dimensional form's 2D shape sides are the same length and all of its interior angles have the same measurement, the shape is said to be regular. If all of a two-dimensional object's sides and angles have different lengths, the shape is said to be irregular. A few examples of 2D shapes are the circle, triangle, rectangle, pentagon, and square. With the exception of the circles, we may argue that all 2D forms are polygons. While circles have a curved form, polygons have a closed structure with sides. A triangle is a three-sided, triangular-shaped object in space. A form with four sides and four corners is called a rectangle. They could observe that the lengths of the opposing sides are equal. All four sides of a square, which is a planar form, are the same length. This kind of object is oblong. A circle is a spherical form without edges or corners. N Euclidean geometry, the entire space is divided into four equal sections by the intersecting two perpendicular number lines at their midpoint. Every point in two perpendicular directions is measured from their bisection point using the number lines on the perpendicular lines as a baseline. The Cartesian system known as the two-dimensional space is used in this geometric environment to assist us determine the precise location of each point using two numerical values in the plane.